Over millions of years, animals have evolved incredible adaptations to help them survive and thrive in their environments. Today, we'll be taking a look at 15 of the most incredible adaptations in nature. Number 15. Snake Caterpillars Caterpillars are as diverse as they are beautiful, but they're also very easy prey for predators. Sitting on those leaves all day, waiting for the right time to form a chrysalis, often leaves them exposed to be plucked up into someone's beak. So to increase their odds of survival, caterpillars have adapted things like thorns or poisonous spines. But what about the critters who can't deliver a lethal dose? What are they supposed to do? Well, there are a whole slew of caterpillar species in the wild that have adapted to hide in plain sight by mimicking snakes. Yep, you've got things like the Red Helen Swallowtail Caterpillar, the Spice Bush Swallowtail Caterpillar, and the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail Caterpillar. And while these little guys may be just good enough to fool a bird, the Elephant Hawk Moth Caterpillar is good enough to even fool a human. The ends of these caterpillars look just like a snake's head, eyes and all. When they feel threatened, they can either stick their end into the air or let it hang off the end of a branch to let any nearby predators know that this is not an animal you want to mess with. And looks are always deceiving, so this caterpillar is totally harmless, unable to produce any venom or bite. But what makes these elephant hawk moth caterpillars even cooler is when they emerge from their chrysalis, they're one of the most beautiful moths in the world with pink and green colorations. Number 14. Texas Horned Lizard Some lizards camouflage into their surroundings. Some lizards shoot their tongue out in the blink of an eye to snatch up any unsuspecting prey. And some lizards even shoot blood from their eyes. Yep, we're talking about the Texas Horned Lizard. These lizards have one of the strangest and most morbid adaptations in the entire animal kingdom. Despite the horns and spines growing from their bodies, there are plenty of predators that will try to make a meal of these lizards. And that's where those spurts of blood come in. When a predator gets too close for comfort, the Texas horned lizard will spurt blood from its eye towards the bigger animal's mouth. And even if the predator does have a taste for blood, this lizard's blood is foul. Just one taste of this nasty blood is enough to send them packing and hunt for something a little sweeter. It's kind of like a human sending back food to a kitchen at a restaurant. Sure, it's weird and disgusting, but it works. The Texas Horned Lizard is just another reminder that you don't mess with Texas. Number 13. Geckos We've all seen the commercials, but other than having an Australian accent, most people don't know too much about these loud and scaly reptiles. Depending on where in the world you live, it's not uncommon to see them hiding under shrubs or even sticking to the walls in your home. But they're also pretty darn nimble, too. Like parkour-level nimble. When they're running away from their bigger, sometimes faster predators, they need a good escape plan. So geckos use something called rapid inversion. If the gecko in question is running on a ledge and sees the edge getting closer and closer, instead of going for the life-saving jump, they're going to simply hold on and flip to the bottom for a classic game of hide-and-seek. When the predator looks all the way down for them to assume their reptilian prey fell to their death, but little do they know that the gecko is right underneath them, holding its breath, hoping they're not spotted. But even then, no other animal is able to pull off the balancing act like the now inverted gecko. Number 12. King Snakes Just hearing the word king snake is enough to send shivers slithering down your spine. But just wait until you learn a little bit about them. Like so many other snakes, king snakes eat things like birds, rodents, and even some lizards, and constrict their prey to death before swallowing them whole. They don't have venom like rattlesnakes or cottonmouths, but they partake in a little ophiophagy, or the eating of snakes. That's right, the king snake is big enough to eat smaller snakes whole. And that includes venomous snakes. And how is that even possible? Well, over millions of years, the king snake has developed an immunity to snake venom, plain and simple it makes them an incredibly formidable opponent to any snake they want to swallow. When the snakes go head to head, the king snake clamps down on their prey's jaws, constricts it, and swallows them head first. And because of their special immunity, their preferred quarry are vipers. It may sound like a pretty crazy adaptation, but it's actually good for the local ecosystem. Without the king snake, their venomous kinsmen would become apex predators and overpopulate the area. And nothing else could eat them. So, if you ever do run into a king snake out in the desert, while well, it's best to steer clear of these aggressive hunters, make sure to tip your hat to them as well. 
because at the end of the day, they prevent snakes like black mambas and king cobras from taking over the world. Number 11, Vietnamese Mossy Frog. If you go to Vietnam and notice large black and green clumps of moss, don't touch it. Much to your surprise, it's likely that it's a Vietnamese mossy frog. They spend most of their days hiding in water basins from predators while keeping the ever watchful eye out for something good to eat. The frogs are so well camouflaged that when they're not moving, they're almost impossible to spot. So good luck finding one. And to throw us off even more, the Vietnamese mossy frog can throw their voice from up to 13 feet, making them even harder to find in the wild. They're like the ventriloquists of the jungle and have one of the most interesting and unique defense mechanisms in the world, too. It's an odd adaptation for sure, but it's a great way to get rid of the neighbors they don't like. All they need to do is throw their voice over by another predator and let something even larger snatch that up. It is truly a master of disguise, but if you're ever lucky enough to find one unobstructed by lush greenery, you'll see that they're also one of the most oddly beautiful frogs in the world. And the Vietnamese mossy frog's favorite food? Try crickets and cockroaches, two bugs that humans can definitely live without. Imagine the surprise of an insect who gets gobbled up by what they thought was a safe haven of black and green moss. Number 10. Arctic Cod Most typical fish can come off as boring. They're not bright by any stretch of the imagination. They make boring pets and are probably better off as our dinner. But some of these boring fish can have some pretty one-of-a-kind adaptations. Enter the Arctic Cod. As their namesake would imply, the Arctic Cod live in some pretty freezing conditions that would prove to be inhospitable for a large portion of the animal kingdom. The Arctic Cod are not just able to withstand, but also thrive in these sub-zero temperatures because they're able to create their own antifreeze. They're able to create proteins that bind to the tiny ice crystals in their blood to prevent the blood from freezing and eventually, obviously, killing them. This is the type of survival adaptation that can only come from thousands and thousands of years of evolution. The Arctic Cod had developed a gene that allows them to create the proteins, which they can turn on and off like we would the thermostat in our home. The Arctic Cod gives a whole new meaning to having a heart of ice. Number 9. Komodo Dragon's Mouths We've all heard of Komodo dragons. They're a big, fast, and deadly monitor lizard that can grow up to 10 feet long and weigh 200 pounds, and they run at top speeds of 12 miles an hour. These big beasts are as close to a real-life Godzilla as we're gonna get. And while many will tell you that the Komodo dragon is poisonous, there's still a bit more to that fact. Yes, the Komodo dragon has two venom glands in its mouth that will gladly cause anything from swelling to lower blood pressure and shock to paralysis. It's not something you want to screw around with, but searing pain and paralysis aside, the Komodo dragons found a way to add insult to injury because their mouths are just vile. Their saliva is full of E. coli, which is typically found in feces, which can cause urinary tract infections in humans. The list can go on forever, and one Komodo dragon can have up to 60 strains of sickening bacteria in their mouths at any given time. So while their bite or tail whip alone can kill something small, their infectious and venomous bites will easily put something as big as a water buffalo down in minutes. Scientists don't really know how these lizards can survive with a sewage system in their mouth. We all have to do our best with the hand we're dealt in life, but Komodo dragons were dealt a royal flush. Number 8. Wallace's Flying Frog Now it's time to catch some air. Racophorus nigropalmatis, or Wallace's Flying Frog, is a fun little amphibian found in Malaysia and Indonesian treetops. Over centuries, these frogs developed the ability to leap between trees to avoid their predators, with long webbed toes and skin flaps under their limbs to help make them more aerodynamic than their ancestors. But perhaps what's even cooler is that these frogs will use these aerial appendages to help them glide down to the rainforest floor, too. And seeing as how their frogs be able to make a soft landing into water isn't going to hurt their chances of survival, either. Frogs can live on both land and sea and jump as high as they can far. So why does an animal like this need the added advantage of flight? Well, because they're bright green, and sometimes with yellow stripes, they can't really blend into the tree bark as well as other prey animals can. So a quick escape is going to be their best bet. Well, I guess you've got to admit, you may not want to kiss one to see if it turns into a prince. But these Wallace flying frogs are kind of adorable and even cuter when they take flight. Number 7. 
mountain goats. If you've ever scoured the internet for crazy nature videos like me, then you've probably come across the next advantageous adaptation on this list. Mountain goats defy not just nature, but it would seem like the laws of physics too. These furry little friends can scale some of the tallest and steepest mountains that humans would fear to tread on, and they do it well. There's nothing clunky about the mountain goats moving up a cliff face. So how the hell are they able to do these things that so few animals can? Well, they're built for it. Their hooves have a hard outer case that lets them dig right into the ledges that you and I wouldn't be able to find. But the soft pads in the bottom of these tough hooves mold to the contours of the rock surface just like rock climbing shoes. The mountain goats look pretty buff, but in reality, they're slender little fellows, which is the perfect shape for balancing in precarious positions. But within these slender bodies are strong shoulders that give them just the right boost to hoist themselves up. Because while it may look easy for them, they're still working plenty hard. Centuries of adaptation have helped these mountain goats learn to scale these cliffs probably better than Spider-Man could. Number 6. Wolverine Frogs Wolverine is pretty much everyone's favorite X-Man. His never-say-die attitude, cigar smoking, and mutton chops have earned him a rich, nearly 50-year history in plenty of movies and TV shows. But there's an animal out in the world named after the hero's trademark, his deadly claws. The Wolverine, or hairy frog, is the little amphibian that, when threatened, can literally break the bones in their hands at will and extend them through to the toe pads. And from there, they start swinging. These jagged little pieces of bones are enough to scratch and tear at any predator that needs to learn their lesson. It is one of the craziest adaptations in nature, and if the wolverine frog is willing to do that to themselves, then just imagine what they'll do to you. Perhaps in another million years, these little hoppers will simply grow spines and spikes so they don't have to crack themselves up to defend themselves. Scientists are still studying this amphibian and think that the muscles in their feet are what help them get their bones into attack mode, contracting them to move through the skin and into the eyes of predators. But to further live up to their name, the wolverine frog even has the same hair as their comic book counterpart. Number 5. Blood, Sweat, and Tears When it comes to predators of the African continent, the hippopotamus is pretty high up there. They can grow to be about 4,000 pounds, about 15 feet long, and about 5 feet tall. And despite their stumpy appearance, the hippo will chase you down at 30 miles an hour and chomp down with a bite that delivers a bite of nearly 2,000 psi, giving it the strongest bite of all land animals. But at the end of the day, the hippo's biggest threat isn't other animals, but the sun. The African sun can be grueling, and even animals need a little SPF sometime. But instead of finding some shade or rolling around in the mud, hippos use a natural sunscreen, a bright red liquid that oozes from the pores and looks an awful lot like blood. It's been called blood sweat by scientists, even though it's nothing of the sort. This thick red sunscreen is made from an ultra-acidic compound capable of absorbing UV rays, which not only prevents some safari sunburn, but even inhibit the growth of bacteria that would otherwise prove detrimental to the hippo's health. It is a strange adaptation that, while a bit morbid looking, has helped to keep the hippos alive for a long time. Number 4. Diving Bell Spider Arachnophobia, or fear of spiders, is one of the most common fears among humans, and it's kind of not hard to see why. Even the harmless eight-legged critters look like something out of a horror movie. But thankfully, there's one place we can all go where we know we won't find them. The water! Well, this time you're wrong, because as their name suggests, the diving bell spider thrives under the surface. In fact, they spend most of their time down there. Found in the waters of Europe and Asia, the diving bell spider does everything down there from resting to eating and even mating and egg laying, and only breaches the surface when it's looking to catch both its breath and some prey. These spiders create little diving bells out of silk threads that are spun between underwater plants and then is inflated with air they bring down from the surface. And every diving bell is totally waterproof, but still lets in oxygen while dispelling any harmful carbon dioxide. But as other gases slowly diffuse, the diving bell spider will need to create a new underwater shelter every so often. And the larger the spider, the larger the diving bell. And while these spiders don't often cross paths with humans, it's said that they have a pretty nasty and blistering bite. Number 3. Thorny Devils Australia is a continent where it seems like everything out there is trying to kill you. 
Jumping spiders hop onto people, and snakes hide in the bush, ready to pounce, even in the cities. But the outback is another beast entirely, and unless you've been born and raised to survive the landscape's temperament, you won't make it very long. Even for the desert critters, water is incredibly scarce, but luckily for the thorny devil, it doesn't need to put too much work in to quench its thirst. The thorny devil's skin has evolved to incorporate a process known as capillary action, which allows it to absorb water like a sponge. The lizard's scales are structured in such a way that when the dew from the air falls onto its body, it channels down to the corners of the animal's mouth like an all-day water fountain. They can even absorb water from mud and the occasional outback puddle. It sounds like the kind of adaptation you'd find on the planet Arrakis. And any thorny devils whose scales don't form the perfect pattern will die out. But what's really cool about these thirsty little guys is that you can actually see the water pooling on their skin. When they get wet, they darken too. So the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Number 2. African Pixie Frogs Don't let the name fool you. African Pixie Frogs are anything but small and anything but cute. The second largest frog in the world, the African pixie frog has a number of unique adaptations. For starters, they are incredibly aggressive and deliver a powerful and painful bite, and will eat just about anything from birds to mice and even some small snakes. But what makes them really interesting is their hibernation. These giant frogs love the rainy season, but seeing as how they live in one of the driest continents in the world, that doesn't happen all that often. So when the rainy season ends, the African pixie frog buries itself about 8 inches into the ground before secreting a thick, viscous mucus which eventually forms a membrane and hardens into a cocoon-like structure, and it stays like that until the next heavy rainfall. That could mean hibernating for just a few months, or up to 7 years. And it absolutely will not come out until the savanna is soaking wet. When that happens, the frog's mucus membrane will finally soften signaling them to wake up, get out of bed, and soak in all the moisture. These frogs have an average lifespan of 20 years, meaning it spends most of its time underground and asleep. Number 1. Dorcas Gazelle What's the longest you've gone without going to the bathroom? After you've had a lot to drink, what's the longest you've held it in? A few hours? A day? Well, whatever your record is, the Dorcas Gazelle will put it to shame. This gazelle lives in the desert, savanna, and dry grasslands of Africa and Arabia, and has one of the wildest adaptations yet. Because they live in such harsh desert climates, they need to conserve as much water as possible, which is why they don't urinate. The Dorcas gazelle quite literally can't afford to pee. These cute animals get much of their water from the plants in the savanna, and rather than giving up that precious H2O, when it's time to go, they excrete solid white pellets made of uric acid out of their rears. That's what thousands of years of arid weather evolution will do to you. And these gazelles are classified as endangered, which does make it tough for scientists to get out there and fully study them. But so far, many believe that the Dorcas gazelle can live their entire lifetime without taking a sip of water. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.